Scanning our kids as they get on and off the bus. The technology is now available, and thanks to a local company, it is pretty cost effective. Fox 23's James Tully is live at Jinx High School right now. And James, it will be the first district to try out the new system, I understand. Yeah, tonight school administrators in Chickasha say they are investigating why a seven year old girl was left on a school bus alone for seven hours. Jenks School District demoed this bus attendance taking program earlier this year. It works pretty simple and it demoed very well, except there were some concerns that the iPad may be a little distracting. So the developers went back and made a huge improvement. One of the things that always drove me is is talking with parents, especially single moms, that were concerned every day, wanting to know where their kids were, if they were, whenever they were getting off the bus. Todd Rind and Rick McCracken have made a few modifications to their school bus check-in system for students. They'll just carry a key fob or a card, some other type of device that has their stuff encoded, and then they'll present that when they get on the bus. A standard scanning system like this can cost a school up to $16,000 per bus. Running it through their iPad app with this adapter reduces that installation cost to under $1,000. At this point, what we've done is we've tried to focus on Jinx to get a good solid prototype and a good plan in place. You know, try to get processes down, improve things before we start to roll it out to other schools. A small price to pay to make sure all kids are accounted for getting on and off the bus. And the Jenks School District will test this scan, scan in attendance device on the iPads beginning next school year. Reporting live in Jenks, James Tully, Fox 23.